Hi everyone! Today we're going to color the... I absolutely have no idea what this bird is. Uh, but Vanny said it's a crown crane. <laughs> but we're gonna try... I'm gonna try to show you how I colored a few of the feathers and maybe the beak. Uh, but right now we'll start with the feathers. So as you know, I'm a Prisma girl, so I'm using Prismacolor pencils. And what I do is I will start with the dark color. For this particular bird, I start with the dark color. So this would all be brown, just like in the one that I entered into the contest. And this one would be pink. And, well, you know the other colors. But let's start with this ones. So, I started with a dark color, and like I explained in the PDF, it will be uh, dark first when I stroke, and then I move into medium, and then I go into very, very light, like, like you're hardly using it. Okay. So, just like in our other, um, other project, the Heron, we are also covering it one third of the feather. Um, notice that my pencil is um, sharpened pretty well and this one is actually PC946 um, dark brown and then I also cover the last and the other end, the other tip of the feather And as you can see, I'm using the stroking technique again, which um, is basically hard pressure in the beginning, moving to slower and slower, and um, I mean softer and softer pressure towards the middle, and then almost nothing here. Also notice that I try to follow the shape of what I'm coloring. Your lines don't need to be uniformed. Actually, they shouldn't be. Um, they shouldn't end abruptly like a line over there. They should, you know, just, it's a feather, and it's flowing, and it's pretty, and it's nice, so like that. Okay, and then we move on to the next color, which is um, an ochre yellow, I think. But it's it reads yellow ochre, so I'm correct, PC942. And as you know, when we use uh, Prisma, we start from where we, like halfway through what you've already colored. So you drag the color so they blend. And then there. So there you go. Same rule applies. Hard pressure, mid pressure, and then almost none. Same with the other end. So you go dark, 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 dark pressure, and then mid pressure, and then light. Okay. So there. There. Okay, I hope you everyone can see it. Okay, and then the next color would be an orange, which is the same, um, the same principle we had in the PDF. We use a highlighter color, and this is the one. It's PC nine one eight. So again, I'm gonna start where I left off. Hard, 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 hard. Like color over, and then go light medium light same here And then the middle portion, I use uh, yellow, 
another time in yellow. This is actually my favorite canary yellow. It's PC916. So, again, I drag the color from the last one. Drag, 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 drag. And for this particular piece, I actually didn't leave out any white parts. Um, because I wanted it to look really rich and I basically imagined that the light was in this, this portion so the feathers in this portion had the highlights like you can see in this one this is the finished product so there it actually had white parts but for this this part of the bird it didn't have any white parts it's just a very 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 light yellow And then I went for a reddish brown, which is PC937. And you know, I used it as a shadow in the end. There. And then, just like the others, I um, the what we did with the heron, I'm doing a black outline, most especially for this project because um, there are a lot of feathers and you want to different shape them from each other. So I'm just gonna do it like halfway, just just follow the line, basically. To there and then this one too in the middle but I don't really trace the whole line I go like that there so that's how my feather looks and just because I wanted them to really look like feathers even this one that's a little blank I drew a few lines like that So I did that for all the feathers. So I hope you see it. This is how my brown, yellow, and orange feather looks like. Um, I'll do another video so that it's not too long uh, on how to do the pink parts. And then another one for the beak. And another one for the neck. Thanks, guys.